Hello again and welcome back. My name is Yeva, I'm from Russia and in this video I want to tell you everything about Russian binding because this is very important in our lives. So guys, I'm really excited to share uh, this video about banyas with you. I'm sure you're familiar with these three different terms. Finnish sauna, Russian banya and Turkish hamam. Let me explain you the difference between all of them. In Russian banya, people prefer a higher level of humidity. That's why they pour water down over red hot stones and beat with a bannock. In Finnish sauna, the high heat and the low humidity create an environment which promotes overall perspiration and deep cleansing of pores. In Turkish hammam, the temperatures are much lower than a sauna or banya, but with extremely high humidity. You know, actually, to steam banya to prepare it uh, for a steaming session, you have to use a lot of firewood and we have to prepare it every summer, every autumn to have um, a lot of firewoods. And I want to show you where we keep our firewood. So here it is, the place where we keep firewood of different sizes. So guys, today we will have to tour around um, a wooden bunny and a bunny made of blocks. A bunny made of blocks is cheaper, because if you make it only of wood, it can be pricey, more expensive. But um, both of them are pretty similar, but we have um, bunny made of blocks. Because as I told you, it's, it was faster to build it, it was a bit cheaper and there is less danger that it might be burned accidentally. <laughs> I wish nobody had their bunnies burned. So now I will show you a typical Russian wooden bun. It looks really nice. You may see it all inside. Uh, it is made of wood, very natural and um, a, I would say eco material. It's also interesting that both rich people and Poor people, they build the same banya because people understood that in banya everybody is naked so there is not really a difference between a rich person or a poor person so everybody just uh, had a great time So actually banyas are integrated into Russian culture it's part of our lives nowadays and people try to build banyas in their duchess, summer houses So let's go inside. As I told you, it's all made of wood, which already gives you the feeling of the union with nature. So first goes the banik, the place where people put off their clothes and after a steamy session sit and chat with a cup of herbal tea or beer. Then there is a bathing room where you can wash with shampoo and soap at the end of the bathing ritual. and the heart of Banya, the Parilka room. The hottest room where people sit, pour water on the red hot stones and beat each other with a bundle of twigs. Although Banya has been around for many centuries, only in the end of 18th century, Banya became the focus of health benefits. Because one of Catherine's the great medical advisor declared that visiting a Banya was more beneficial than going to a doctor. There is a phrase you may hear after you finish banya. Uh, in Russian it uh, goes like Slokipal. If to translate, it's like um, wishing you having a good, uh, good life. It's like enjoy your steam. But usually we say it not before you go to banya, but after you finish it. Now let's go inside our own banya where we have steam sessions, and I will show you how it all happens.
and I'm very excited because today it's Saturday and we are going to go to Banya. That's our family tradition. If we miss Banya, it feels like you have missed something very important. <laughs> I'm here all dressed up, but don't think I go to Banya like this. No, I will put off my clothes. Uh, some people like going totally naked and it's okay. Yes, yeah, some people feel ashamed, so they go in swimming suits. Oh. Here's the tube uh, uh, and there is uh, hot water in there because it's connected with uh, the stove. So the wood we use, it also heats the water in this tank and then we use it for, uh, for washing. So now the temperature is here, 70 degrees. There is always a vanik in Banya. Vanik is a bundle of twigs, usually birch and oak, and this believed that soft beating process aids in muscle and joints pain relief. And this is the stove. You know, uh, from that side you saw we just put firewood, and here it is all heat up and some stones. Don't forget to put on a hat which will protect your head from the intense heat and hair from heating. And don't forget about beauty rituals, scrubbing, shampooing, soap, etc. And it is snowing today. Woo. It's getting really cold. And you know that in such a day it's really pleasant and nice to prepare banya. I'm sure you know this place already. Yes, it's Saturday and we are here for Dasha. And guess what we are going to do today? <laughs> Go to Banya, yes. Uh, this is December and we will use uh, snow to wrap our arms uh, after Banya. Why do we do it first sweating and then running into snow? So it is believed that the rapid temperature change triggers the body into thinking it has a fever, which in turn simulates the production of white blood cells. So I asked 
actually yes sometimes i'm asking my family to take part in my videos and they are so nice and friendly that they always agree so i will do this as well like running into the snow and rubbing at my body but a bit earlier oh sorry later and honestly saying i think our bodies are get used to this uh, steamy session because now i cannot uh, imagine myself not having uh, this uh, combo of temperature and humidity before we had our personal private banner we used to go to public banner um, so it's very similar but there are much more people and sure uh, there's there are separate days for men and for women you know actually if we dig into the story of banner uh, during Russian period, Imperial Russia people, yeah, they always had banyas, but uh, public banyas were commonplace for men and women. And only Catherine the Second, uh, she made an order and um, order to separate uh, these two. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoy it, and I wish to each of you <laughs> try at least once in your life go to a real Russian banya, and I am sure I'm convinced you won't regret it.